Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video, we're talking about Patrick Moore, the most pleasant surprise of 2019 Mr. Olympia. He brought an amazing shape. I think he was the most conditioned guy on that stage, and the most aesthetic one by far. I'm gonna analyze his physique in this video a little bit, we're gonna talk about his future in the sport, and the question for you is, is Patrick Moore the next Ronnie Coleman, like Sean Ray said? Is he the one to save bodybuilding now when it really needs saving? Is he the one, since apparently Cedric McMillan doesn't really care too much to get in shape for Mr. Olympia? The first time I heard about Patrick Moore was at the California Pro where he won, but he was a little bit smooth, a little bit smoother than he was at the Mr. Olympia. At the Mr. Olympia, this was his best ever, absolutely, and he looked amazing. I really had the feeling that he's gonna bring something special, and I said exactly that in my prediction video, you can check it out. And I was hoping that he's gonna crack the top 10, but in my prediction video, I gave him 11th place. Although he did crack the top 10, he took the 10th place. Yep, he took the 10th place, but by the opinions of many, myself included, he deserved more. But we're gonna talk about that a little bit later, we're gonna see the comparison of him against the other guys who beat him, and who didn't beat him. But as for now, let's watch his posing routine. And as you can see, this guy has the potential, he has the genetics. I mean, there are flaws, for sure, but if we are talking about the genetic potential, he has everything that he needs. He has big limbs, his waist is so tiny, and his shoulders are so broad, which creates an amazing weed taper. He can bring conditioning, apparently, and he has the structure, he has the shape of his back, of his glutes, of his chest and everything, he just needs to be a little bit bigger. Look at his glutes, how straight they were, and look at that back. This was one of the most defined backs on that stage. Brandon Curry was obviously much bigger and so was pretty much anybody in this lineup, but aside from William Bonek, nobody really had this condition and this dry back. If he manages to grow, to grow quite a bit, in every single body part basically, and if he manages to keep this conditioning, he can easily be our next Mr. Olympia winner. Ronnie Coleman was 33 in 1997, where he placed 9th. And the very next year, he won the Mr. Olympia very decisively. At this point, Patrick Moore is 35 years old. So he is not a youngster. He is not like 25 or 28. So at this age, how much can he progress? How much muscle can he really grow? before it is too late, before he is too old. He is not a youngster again, he's 35, and by adding all that muscle, will he keep his shape? The conditioning is most certainly not a problem, nor it is his shape, or details, or anything, it's just the overall mass. All Patrick needs to do is just get bigger, to look more competitive against the other guys who are much bigger than him. Other than that, he's spot on. He has very complete build, very detailed physique, very good structure, all he needs to do is grow. So we can see right here, when he is compared to the big guys, like Cedric, like Akim, like Luke Sando, who were nowhere near his shape, who were nowhere near him as far as conditioning, but they were much bigger. Even though these guys are monsters compared to him, much bigger than him, he still managed to find himself in the middle of this lineup right next to Sergio McMillan, who was in the middle of it, and right next to Akim Williams, who is a machine, who is a beast. And sheer mass is definitely very important, but what good is it if you cannot show it, if you don't have the conditioning? Cedric was way off. His conditioning was nowhere near Patrick's, and you will be able to see that, especially when they turn around, when they show their backs. But still, most of these guys were able to beat Patrick. Why, you're wondering? Because of the mass. Because they are much bigger than him. Just compare Akim to Patrick here. He is just much, much bigger. The only guy in this lineup that lost to Patrick was actually Luke Sando, who took 11th place. Cedric was 7th, uh, Akim was 9th, Lucas Oslatil was 8th, I believe, and Patrick was 10th. Luke was so off, he's huge, but zero definition. Here you can see what I'm talking about. Compare Patrick's back to everybody's back in this lineup. If they allow him to hit the pose much more defined, much more conditioned. My eyes were definitely drawn to his back, more so than any other back in this lineup. I just loved it, I just loved how he looked. But, knowing how the judging criteria today works, I knew that he's not gonna beat most of these guys. I knew that, because, you know, size really matters. Size really matters in these kind of competitions. 
just being shredded really isn't enough. There are middleweight bodybuilders who are much more shredded even than Patrick Moore, but they don't have the size and that's why they're not at the Mr. Olympia, that's why some of them are not even pros. You guys can have your personal preferences, I can have mine, but if Patrick wants to win the Mr. Olympia or to simply place higher than he did this year, what he needs to do is to grow, he needs to grow more mass. But if he wasn't able to grow it until the age of 35, he may never do it. Luke Sando is like 26 or something, so he's 10 years younger almost than Patrick. So basically anything is possible, we can watch him grow in this offseason and get 20 pounds bigger for next year, or we can watch him fail and not even qualify for the Mr. Olympia. So this is just speculation. It happened so many times that people were expecting a lot from bodybuilders, especially from the newcomers, and they, most of them at least, never fulfilled the expectations. Will that be the case with Patrick Moore? We cannot know. We can just wait and see. But does he have the potential? Hell yeah, he does. And was he the most aesthetic bodybuilder on this stage? Yes, sir. Yes, he was. Yes, he absolutely was. Me personally, I loved it. I loved his physique. He was shredded, he was polished, he had very straight glutes, which is a really rare thing today, especially this year's Mr. Olympia. His lower back was dry. Aside from William Bonek, nobody had this shredded back. The shape is there, the structure is there. All he needs to do to be more competitive is to grow some muscle, to get a little bit bigger. But he is very, very good as he is. But you know what, Ronnie Coleman was also great in 1997, but what he became later on in 1998 is a different story. Right here you can compare 1997, I believe this 1997 version of Ronnie Coleman, if it isn't it doesn't matter. Um, here on the right you can see Patrick Moore of today, and you can notice something very interesting which I am noticing for the first time right now, the facial resemblance. They look alike, look at their faces. They look like brothers or like a father and son. The mustache is there, the hairstyle is the same, and also the structure of their bodies, very, very similar. But the facial resemblance is really interesting. Anyways, all jokes aside, they really do look alike, physique-wise. They really do resemble each other. If you take a look at Ronnie's arms and Patrick's arms, very similar. Chest, the same. The structure, you know, wide shoulders, small, narrow waist. The deep cuts in their quads, for example, and pretty much all over the place. That is what they both have. Now the question is, can Patrick bring that mass like Ronnie was able to? Another photo comparison right here. Very, very similar. You guys must notice this. It's very similar. If they competed against each other though like this, what do you think? Who would win? Well, me personally, I find Ronnie's physique more impressive, but Patrick is more conditioned, so I guess it could go either way. We will never know. We will never know. But what we do know is that Patrick has a huge potential. Such a huge potential. He has the structure, he has the shape, he has the completeness. All he needs to do is grow. Just keep growing. Just grow, add at least like 10 to 20 pounds of muscle and he will be unbeatable probably. There are basically no flaws in his physique. What is he missing? Show me. Pretty much nothing. He has the quads, he has the glutes, he has the hamstrings, the calves, even calves. The narrow waist, the broad shoulders, arms are big, shoulders are good, chest is full, back is amazing, every single thing is there. But I guess we will have to wait, wait and see what happens. If he does what he needs to do, if he grows enough to be competitive against the other guys, he may be our next Mr. Olympia winner. What do you think, how would he compare against Phil Heath if he really comes back? How would he compare against Sean Roden if he gets unbanned? How would he compare against Big Remy if Big Remy ever comes shredded? How would he compare against Flex Lewis? And would he ever be able to beat Brandon Curry? Whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. But just imagine if he brought something like this. This is just another level, another level. This is something that we do not see <laughs> nowadays, nothing like this. Is anybody ever gonna overcome this physique? Pfft, it's gonna be hard. It is gonna be hard, I'm telling you. But Patrick Moore is probably the closest to it. And imagine if he brought something like this. Wow, I would love to see that. I would really love to see that. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like it and tell me. Give me your thoughts down below in the comment section. Please do that. And also, subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I'm posting content every single day, pretty much. Thank you very much, guys, once again. All the best. Bye-bye.